Hey everybody, this is Jason Creel and you're watching The Lawn Care Life. Today I've got a special video for you. I'm gonna race my dad. We've uh, you've seen videos where people do trimming with your string trimmer or edging with it and, and of course a regular stick edger. He's gonna have the edger, I'm gonna have the string trimmer. Well, you can make a judge on speed but also on the quality of the work and we'll see uh, how it goes. So. We're filming this in the springtime. The grass has been dormant most of the winter. It's finally starting to grow. So there's some grass that's kind of coming over the sidewalk and we're gonna get it nice and edged up. So first what I wanna do, demonstrate, maybe you're watching this and you're just thinking, I don't know how to use a string trimmer. The edger's pretty self-explanatory. You put the wheel on the sidewalk or on the pavement side and then keep the, the blade up against the curb there where you're trying to edge. You don't wanna dig it too deep. There's really no need to. Um, but on the trimmer, of course, I've got ear and eye protection on. The trimmer is the way I teach people to do it, and there's other ways. You know, I see people hold them up like this. But I mean, basically, when I'm doing it, I'm, I'm trimming like this, holding it normal, and I just flip it upside down. So that, that's just this one quick move. I'm holding it like this, trimming, flip it upside down, and now I'm using my thumb on the trigger as opposed to my finger. Now I'm just basically trying to hold this as a 90 degree angle. You can walk forward, backwards, you know, forward obviously more natural for most people. And then you can stand on the grass side or the sidewalk side, the pavement side. I find it a little bit easier to be on the pavement. Um, you can see what you're doing. You see here, I removed the guard. You leave your guard on. It, it's probably void your warranty and other things if you take it off. But I like to take the guard off because I can see what I'm doing. Uh, again, you're not trying to dig it super deep. My line length, this is a little bit too short, so I'm gonna let a little line out when I do edge, and we'll try to make it nice and clean. So I've been sitting up all winter, so it might be a little rusty, but we'll see how it goes. You can leave a comment below, see who you think uh, did a better job. Appreciate it. All right, so what we decided to do is we're gonna just put the clock on the screen and, and see how long it takes. Instead of us going at the same time, it's gonna be kind of a time trial. He'll go. We'll time it and then I'll go and time it. And, uh, and then we'll observe quality of work because that's gonna play a factor in, in who's the, the winner as well. All right, let's get started. On your mark, get set, go. All right, so there's my score to beat. I'm not sure what the time was. We'll have to do that after we shoot the video, but let me uh, let me do go have my turn and then we'll observe the results. I had to get my right my line the right length. All right, All right Mark, get set, go. I think at one part I kind of missed a little spot, but I didn't want to mess up my time, so I just kept going anyway. So we'll see, uh, we'll observe the quality and see see what you guys think. All right, so the race is over. Uh, we can observe the times on there. I think I probably won as far as the speed goes, but let's take a look at the 
the quality of the cut. And it, this video is not really to convince you to use an edger or a string trimmer for your edge. And I know obviously an edger is the tool that's made for edging. I do personally think there's some advantages to knowing how to use a string trimmer. So for instance, on my at my house, I have a pine straw or mulch around my flower beds with no real border. And to maintain that or to maintain a tree ring, you know, I use a, a string trimmer. I don't use a stick edger. Um, sometimes you got a small yard and, and you're out there using your string trimmer and you, and you don't have to put it up and get a separate tool. So anyway, I, I'm not pro one tool or the other. I just, I don't necessarily agree with people that say there's no need to ever use a string trimmer. I think um, there's, there are purposes for it. So I'll, and I like to know how to do it. So hopefully you've learned how to do that. So let's observe the results for quality of work and wrap up the video. All right, so on the edger, I mean, what you get, you know, it, it, it's really, it's hard to mess up on an edger. So you can see here, you're gonna get a, a nice clean edge pretty much all the way down. I mean, there's occasionally when it's grown over pretty bad that it can, uh, you might have to go over it twice or even, you know, stop what you're doing and back the edger up. You know, if we blew this off, we could really see what cut, like there's a, you know, it, it's cut, it just needs to be blown off. And as you keep continually edge your lawn, it's gonna get easier and easier. So anyway, you know, quality with the edger is, is really nice. So uh, that's a good thing. Now on the trimmer, you know, there's some people that I've seen edge with trimmer that are really bad. It's not going to be quite as good usually. But overall, I'm not uh, I'm not ashamed of my edge in here. Again, it's it's most likely not going to be quite as clean of a cut as it would be with a string trimmer. But I think most people would be fairly satisfied with that, except for the anti-string trimmer edger people. They're not not going to be satisfied because they didn't use the right tool, but. If they didn't see me do it, I think they would be okay with it. So anyway, I would say quality, I'd give a, uh, an edge to my dad's speed. Um, I was able to edge him on the speed and maybe some of that's just I'm a little more experienced than he is, but I appreciate him participating anyway. Hope the video was entertaining and educational for you and you learned something. A nice clean edges obviously makes a huge difference in the quality of your lawn. If you are in the lawn care business, and you uh, need resources for that. I've got a lot of uh, video courses, documents, things like that we sell over at LawnCareLife.com. Check those out. There's over 500 videos on the channel, so I'd encourage you to subscribe or just click on my channel name, Lawn Care Life. Go check out the other videos on the channel. Appreciate you watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye.